to you real quick about Starlink and should you use a Starlink pole or not. My personal opinion, right now we are in Lake Tahoe and as you can see, tons of trees all around us. So basically, I just set up the Starlink out in the open where there was some open space above me. So you can see that the Starlink is a good ways from a camper. I have a 75 foot cord, plus I added a 25 foot extension cord, which gave me that extra length to obtain the open space where the rock is. Now, if you look up where I have the Starlink, now I have some pretty open space. That's what I need. So while I was uh, showing you whether you should use a pole or use the cord that comes with the Starlink. I also wanted to uh, show you how we store it on a different occasion. I did a quick video of that, a couple of minutes. Take a look at this. I'm gonna show you exactly what we have in this big compartment, but this is where the Starlink is. Now, we just figured this out, so we'll probably come up with some uh, unique pads, but uh, right now we're just using spider mats that were in the Husky. So the everything goes in at an angle and we're probably going to get some little padded footies to put over this because i just don't even want to scratch up the inside of the compartment but this simply lays over the starlink the same way it comes packaged when you buy it it, it comes out at an angle so i'll set that off to the side <clears throat> then uh and then we put a piece of uh spider mat over that because i don't want the outside of this to get scratched uh, you may not care about that. Then we took a spider mat and just laid it on the bottom. I had this one uh, over the end of this bar. So again, I don't even want to scratch up that. This is a two-year-old camper, still looks brand new. Because we take care of things like that, you know, I just lay that over the end. Then this simply just comes out super easy. Uh, and again, before I put it in there, let me just show you again. I just lay this out over the edge, slide her in, cover it, pad it, boom, set the stand over it. Now, where's the modem and all that stuff? Well, my good friend, Ronnie Dennis at Airstream Nuts and Bolts, highly recommend him, by the way. He has a really nice smart plug. We just haven't got there yet. Now he's a little farther from me than he used to be. So until he gets a smart plug put in for me, we put the modem and all of its cable. These are just Walmart little duffel bags. They're fantastic. They come in multi-packs, like 10 bucks. You get like five of them, different sizes. So the modem is in here. And if you'll remember, the plug is right next to where we store it. I just simply set the modem on this, plug it up, off we go. Then the rest of the electronics, the cord and all of that, keep in the bag. Because this is somewhat what we call electronics, also in this we have, this is an old uh, um, storage bag for our sand mat, which we never put back in the bag. We just put a roll it up, put a bungee around it. So extension cord, hanging lights, timer, all of that stuff is actually inside of this bag. So then when I want to take all of our electronics, I just lay it out, slide it in, take the spider mat. Well, first of all, I take the uh, modem, put it in its little bag, set the modem in first in there catch that then I just take my large spider mat lay it over the edge put my Starlink in at an angle cover it up take the frame the foot frame set it over the top cover it so it won't scratch up my uh, door boom it bang it boom it bang there you have it you have the best way to store Starlink, and you have the best way to connect Starlink. Plenty of options. If you like the pole, go for it. I think for us, we probably can always find an open spot.